Hi Sagittarius, Sagittarius rising, Sagittarius moon. This is Ellie with your December love focus reading. And so I wanted to tell you that these are general and so all of it might relate to you or maybe some of it will relate to you or maybe nothing will relate to you at all. Uh, please check your sun, your moon and your rising videos because a lot of these cards have come up uh, time and time again. Now I... Um, if you want a private reading with me, go to www.hypnoula.com. The New Year and December readings are booking up really fast. So if you need uh, a reading for the New Year, please do get in touch with me now, www.hypnoula.com. So I will choose one um, Sagittarius for your entire tone of the month for love and then one for the four weeks. All right, so right, you get everything that you wish for this month in love, uh, Sagittarius. This is feeling emotionally stable, emotionally fulfilled, emotionally uh, ready. You've got everything lined up, ready to go. Um, you are stable, you are happy, you've got a win. Um, you're sitting there really cocky. You feel like you're going to get exactly what you want. And this is in your ninth house, which is long-term investments and um, uh, what you put all your energy into for the rest of your life. So whatever you're working on right now, you will get your wish. For the first week, we do have the Wheel of Fortune, which is about the four fixed signs. So, sorry, Sagittarius, this is with a, a emotional fulfillment with a water sign, Scorpio, Cancer, or uh, Pisces. But it also is about, this one is about the four fixed signs. Um, so you are with Aquarius, uh, Gemini, Taurus, Aries. I think that's the four. Uh, the Wheel of Fortune is telling you that this week, the first week in December, you've got your lucky break. Singles will be meeting someone that's very, very special. And those that have been having trouble in their relationships kind of leading up until this week, um, whatever's moving on uh, astrologically or what you've had a dialogue or something's changed, something's shifted gear, something's changed, that things are moving a lot smoother this week for you. The second week, we do have the moon. The moon is telling you that this uh, Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. There's a trio here with you, Sagittarius, and this is about some uh, parent, sibling, or uh, child getting in amongst the flow of your relationship. There's two decisions. There's, there's a, you're at a crossroads. You've got to make this decision. And the moon will highlight what needs to be made, but you can't make the decision because you don't have all the information yet. I really feel like there are people working against you. Uh, emotionally, they are, are frightened, uh, worried. I don't know why. They're emotionally so concerned that things will work out for you and your partner that they will stop at nothing to ruin it. Don't know what that's for, but that's what I hear. Third week, we have the lover's card. Now, I've had these uh, three cards in a row for a few signs, okay? So uh, please do check your sun, your moon, and your rising. The uh, lover's card is telling you that this week you'll be mo moving forward and working hard on establishing and fulfilling those commitment promises to each other. You will be uh, growing those bonds. The emotional bonds will be growing stronger. Uh, partnership material, a karmic material. If you're single, you might meet someone that you feel like you've met before. You might meet someone and feel like you've you've seen them before. You you just know them so well. They know you so well. If you're already meeting someone or you're already established relationship, you're graduating on to the next level. Something happens this week which really brings you strongly close together. You're on the same page. You're feeling strong. You're feeling loved. The fourth week we have the Ace of Swords. This is you taking back the power. You are, um, there's a, for some of you, I feel like you're deciding between two. And you, and not just two people. So this message is for some. Some of you are deciding between two people and you really could, you really, it's down to the wire. You don't know which one you're going to choose. Others, this is about you um, making a crossroads decision that is intellectually helping you take back the power for your and your relationship. So if you're in a domestic violence relationship, narcissistic relationship, you are putting steps in place that you are firmly in charge of all thoughts. You're taking back control. For others, this is about you 
having the um, offer of a long-term commitment from an air sign, Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini. I hope you've enjoyed that reading, Sagittarius, and I shall see you next month.